the idea for the Deadly Seven came about because of loads of things. One was because of, I can keep this short though, but it was partly because I just had this sort of, I'd had part of a story for a long time involving a boy going on, a, on an extraordinary journey to, to save his sister. And then I'd had this other idea about monsters. Just the, I was just trying to work out where monsters come from. I, I always love monsters. They're really good things to have, play with and tell stories with. But, you've got, but, but every time I started working on an idea with monsters, it always, you always got to the problem, well, where do they come from? They can't all come through from the bottom of the sea. We've, Godzilla's got that sewn up, you know, we've done that. And, um, and then whenever I thought about all the classic monsters, they always kind of reflected society or they always came from us, like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and that sort of thing. So I thought, oh, well, what if you extracted somebody's sins? You, know, you literally took them out of them and they became monsters. So they represented the sins of that unique individual. They were taken from that person's soul and then they would be present in the real world. And, uh, and then that story about the boy going on the adventure, ah, like, oh, the boy in the adventure, and then he could have the, and the whole thing of the soul and, 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 and what connects us and all that sort of stuff, which sounds a bit deep, but it's not really, it's just, you know, it's just those feelings, those big powerful feelings that are underneath everything, it was really appealing. And, uh, and then that's where the, that's sort of, that's where it kind of began to sort of come together. And that's when I spoke to Rachel at um, Macmillan, and it was very much the bare bones of the idea. And, and has been fleshed out massively along the way. Well, you know what, actually, really the biggest inspiration, the sort of the one that's right in my face is the kids. I have these four boys and they consume books like there's no tomorrow and, and I love that. And, and the chance to try and write something that would really grip them and make them sort of slightly freaked out and slightly, you know, and, and, and laugh um, really appealed. So it's, so in terms of the tone and the way it's written, it was very much inspired by them, like as if I was telling it directly to them. But then in terms of the story itself, it's just, it feels like a complete mush of everything I've ever liked. You know, I, you know the drama and the humour and the, uh, the adventure and, the, you know, and hopefully some heart and soul as well, something that you know, can be a, a affecting, yeah. I hope anyone that reads it really enjoys it you know it just finds it as, as funny as I hope it is and as exciting and surprising and um, I don't know it's just the great thing with a book like this is you get to press so many different buttons it's like the funny button the adventure button the imagination but it just that's it's such a treat to be able to work on something like this all you hope is that 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 you can do that for the reader um, and that you've presented it and told it in such a way that it will have that effect I, I, it's really interesting because no one has read it yet, apart from Rachel who edited it. Um, so it's going to be really inter interesting just to see what people make of it. Yeah. <laughs> to be really honest, I haven't thought about what I'm going to do next. Um, although I have been, in the course of writing The Deadly Seven, worked out it could go into two more stories and they're very appealing, they're very um, they keep, you know, waking me up and uh, I've got so, so many notes on them now that I, I, I would love the opportunity to go ahead and continue with the story because it, it promises to go in some extraordinary places but, and, and also to keep making, if I can keep writing books and keep making films, I think that's about as good as it can possibly get. But really, already just doing one of those was my lifelong dream so to be able to do both is uh, is, is a phenomenal privilege. Yeah.